Hey, Brad, I just got back from checking our emails. Someone had asked, could you sharpen the back of a comb, do you think? There's a oh bunch of combs God. in there. <laughs> if you had to. <laughs> could I sharpen the back of a comb? All right, let's just pull one out of there. And, uh, yeah, they're about all the same thickness. But anyway, we got a package of 12 combs. All right, can I sharpen the back of a comb? So, I bet I can because it's plastic. Mm, I've been chomping on the apple there. Let's uh, move that over. All right. Got plastic and metal on my table here. Then you eat the apples, and that's called true grit. All right, so anyway, it's a good sixteenth of an inch thick. I have absolutely no fear of it cutting me this way, cutting me this way, you know, like that. All right, so anyway, it's a plastic comb. Um, Cold my, oh yeah, cold my beard here a little bit. Yeah, cold my mustache a little bit. Okay. Pretty soon, okay, I, I grew my beard back because a company said, we make ceramic knives and we're going to send you guys some, a brand new set of ceramic knives if you'll take that brand new knife and shave my beard off again uh, on video and put it on my YouTube channel and we'll see how sharp their knives are brand new. You know, we've just not seen the knives yet. I've got the beard, okay, and uh, I'm headed for Hawaii, actually. I uh, don't really need the beard, so who knows? Maybe I get rid of it before I go to Hawaii, which I better hurry because that's Tuesday. All right, uh, this is Brad. Let's uh, see if I can sharpen. This is really flimsy, so I'm, I'm going to have to work at it a little bit. Let's see if I can sharpen the back of a comb. All right, what am I even going to do here? Let's go that way. And... Uh, yeah, it's just thin enough. Ooh, look at the plastic fly. I'll slow down so they don't go off the table. And it is kind of building up down in the little V. So let's... Wow. That's a lot of plastic. Oh my, it's really actually cutting that down pretty good. All right, let's do it again where we get the plastic. Actually, that's working pretty good. It doesn't skip and jump and hop and grab and everything like the metal and the credit card is doing. Good pigtails there of plastic. <laughs> Look at that piece shaved off of there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's get it done. Get her done here. All right, let's see where we are on this deal. <laughs> it's so funny. Hold still. The cross V is only so wide at the top, and at the top, the little carbides are actually 90 degree corners. As I force the comb down in there, and if you go deep enough, then that corner actually starts cutting its own. So, I'll turn it this way. There's the actual bevel. Then you can see that different color. There's about a probably 360 fourths of an inch deep, that little shelf where the corner of the carbide actually is cutting in there. So that means that I'm probably as thin as I'm ever gonna get on the uh, comb itself. So let's cut some of this side off, just like that. Come back this way. I'm going to cut there. See that? There's the shelf I was talking about. I cut it off. I'm going to cut just a little bit more of it off back here. Just like that. Okay, now it's pretty much one bevel all the way across. And we'll see this side here. Just like this. And 
then I'm going to actually use the table to back it up a little bit. It's getting really thin. And I know it's really getting thin because it's changing color. All right, just like that. Now it's time to polish the blade. Just like that. Like that. It's really soft. Okay, now we do this. Actually, that's got a, a fair got a uh, amount of bite to it. I have no idea here. Um. <laughs> um, when you get into the, the apple peel, it's a little bit harder. If you come in from the side, you know, the apple itself is real easy. Let's see if it bites. Not much. Let's, let's work on it just a little more. I can see the plastic flying. Probably going to have a little rolled edge on it almost no matter what I do because the plastic won't cut like it should to get an edge on there that'll really cut. But if I was in prison and I had a comb and I had a handy sharp, sharpen spark, sharpens best, and I had an apple that I wanted to slice and I went to work on it, I could end up cutting that apple. Alright, let's see if we're a little bit better here. That's really not too bad. So, will it sharpen? Oh man, you can still see the, the uh, and I'm going to quit working on it because there's no wind to trying to get that little uh, fine edge off of there. This is Brad, sharpen the back of a comb. Yes, it will slice. It's a good sixteenth of an inch thick. It's plastic and uh, not as good as it could be if it was metal, of course. But this is Brad, sharpensbest.com. So whoever you are out there that asks, can you sharpen the back of a comb? If you're watching the videos, I did this just for you. The other people got to watch. So tell us what you want to see us sharpen. This is Brad. You take care. Have a good day.